Here's the old Everest 500 snowmobile from Bardier. Two cylinder 500cc. Won't work, doesn't start. It's wrong with our with our carb. Doesn't too, doesn't like to uh, doesn't like the uh, doesn't seem to like what uh, what I'm trying to do with it. Doesn't seem to want to run. It's 1980. She's a beaut under the hood. She's a beaut. That two cylinder engine, 500 cc. There's a uh, carburetor that I think is a problem. Maybe stuck needle valve or fuel, fuel float uh, is not controlling a needle properly. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's getting the proper fuel. I mixed new fuel, uh, and I filled three quarters of the tank, but it doesn't, but the gas that I'm smelling out of the cylinders is already, when I take the spark plugs out, is already, smells like it's already gone bad. So I don't think my new fuel is getting through, and that's too bad. So I think I gotta take the carburetor apart, sadly. And there's a new fuel pump I put in for, uh, from the Brazen Strat. Got a new part, but it doesn't seem to be working properly. It doesn't. There's this little piece right in here. Doesn't that's a that's kind of like a vent because there's a diaphragm, there's a rubber diaphragm inside that'll pump fuel into the engine from the from the pressure it creates, from the pressure the two cylinders create. But outside of the diaphragm and still inside the casing, uh, it there be they there's like suction and out of and that vent equalizes that equalizes the pressure so it's not in that vent I see fuel coming out of that vent when I turn the motor over she's an old girl but I'm hoping to get her running for this winter. She's an old beast. Nineteen eighty with only five hundred sixty five kilometers on her. So she should still work, but she's not cooperating. Definitely a couple, couple other things that need to be done to her, but so far I've only had the money and resources and time to be able to do what I've already done, and that's it.